everyone, Jacqueline Howard here. Just in case you didn't recognize it, that's a dinosaur. At least that's how people used to think dinosaurs looked and behaved. Now we know better. We know that dinosaurs aren't the dumb, slow-moving, scaly creatures you may have learned about in grade school. I'll share with you five big myths about dinos and the latest scientific thinking on these amazing creatures. But first, let's go back in time. Dinosaurs died out around 65 million years ago, wiped out by a huge comet or asteroid, but we can look at the fossil evidence they left behind to understand what these prehistoric beasts were really like. In ancient times, fossilized dinosaur bones were thought to have belonged to monsters, or giants, or even dragons. In the 1800s, scientists realized that these teeth and bones were unlike those of any living animal so they must have been the remains of long extinct creatures. And so British paleontologist Sir Richard Owen coined the word dinosaur to describe these prehistoric creatures, but the fossil record can be hard to interpret, which brings me back to those myths. In the 1970s, a system was developed to estimate dinosaur intelligence, based on the dinosaur's brain weight relative to the brain weight of another living animal. It turns out that based on that system, some dinosaurs, like the Velociraptor, were pretty darn smart. Like me, you may have been taught that one of the biggest dinosaurs was the enormous plant eater called Brontosaurus. But there's one problem. That guy never existed. Brontosaurus was invented when 19th century paleontologist O.C. Marsh misidentified an apatosaurus skeleton as belonging to a new species. Even though the mistake was discovered in 1903, it wasn't until the 1970s when museums got around to fixing their skeleton displays. Still, the long-necked dinosaurs were the biggest of them all. You may have heard that some dinosaurs sported feathers. Fossil evidence now suggests that most or even all did. Researchers recently found fossils belonging to a small two-legged dinosaur with scales and feather-like structures dating back around 160 million years. This leads scientists to think that dinosaurs' plumes may have evolved much earlier in dinosaur history than previously thought. At first, scientists thought maybe dinosaurs were cold-blooded like reptiles. Then some researchers said that dinosaurs may have been warm-blooded. But based on dinosaurs' growth rate, size, and metabolism, some scientists now pose that dinosaurs were mesotherms, which means they couldn't control their body temperature as us mammals do, but they weren't so dependent on their environments as cold-blooded reptiles are. They were somewhere in between. Dinosaurs may have been way speedier than you probably thought. Computer simulations suggest that this tiny guy was the fastest dinosaur of all, with a running speed of around 40 miles per hour. Meanwhile, a six-ton T-Rex could reach a top speed of around 18 miles per hour. That's one guy I'm glad I'll never have to outrun. But what other dinosaur questions do you have? Let me know in the comments. Come on, talk nerdy to me.